Let me just tell you, it was very hard for me to dress for this occasion because nothing fits me. I wanted to wear my Hocus Pocus costume, honestly, but we're at Home Goods today. Really, I'm at Home Goods. I'm gonna go inside, film everything, and share what they have for Halloween. I know, I know you're not ready for it, but I know deep down inside you are. Halloween, fall, Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, let's do it. I put on my witchy witch earrings. It's the best I can do. <laughs> and I painted my nails of nice fall color. It's almost fall. Well, really, I'm in Florida. It's gonna be hot until January. <laughs> Did you know that Home Goods opens at 9 a.m.? Neither did I until I Googled it this morning. <laughs> mm, and they have that music pumping. I've been here several times trying to get um, stuff for my girls' room decor. And so I've seen them sift this Halloween stuff out for the past couple of weeks. And each time I get increasingly more excited. Oh, the Moonlight Hotel. <gasps> Wow, that's beautiful. Look how large that is. Okay, guess that price already. And you know what? Oh, sometimes they put the prices on the bottom. 130? I was gonna guess 199. Also this broomstick stand. Um, got candy trick or treat. Is it double sided or do they say different things? Okay, this one says Boo Boulevard, Spooky Street, Haunted Way. These are $50. Still very large. I mean, they, they've got to be five feet tall because they're definitely taller than I am. Okay, we've got some large pumpkins. That haunted house back there. Oh my gosh. I don't have any space in my house to like put decor except for on walls. Feeling witchy. So I really struggle with like what to get i guess pillows is that why pillows are so popular but pillows are expensive Ooh, bad witch i'm a bad you witch check out this haunted house okay it lights up how do we make it go oh i love it i bet you that's a hundred and over a hundred we'll get there check out this skeleton oh okay wow check him out he can hold your halloween candy $200 for that lovely guy. Okay, well, if I had space and $80, that could be coming home with me. <laughs> but <fix> that. <laughs> also, the price tag is on the bottom and it is very heavy. I'm like out of breath, it's kind of ridiculous. Okay, this pumpkin stand is $130. I quite enjoy the very large statement pieces. Olivia Rodrigo is blaring. Ooh, I love these Hocus Pocus pillows. The cauldron pillow. <gasps> Somebody stop me. Oh my gosh, it's a witch's broom. Oh my gosh, is this for real? This is an authentic witch's broom for just $16. I think I'm in need of one, actually. I don't have a witch's broom. How can I even call myself a witch? Okay, this pile of skulls is 100 They've got a gnome back here with a little pumpkin and he looks like he's good for the outdoors. We're creeping it real. We're spooktacular. We're white pumpkin. Oh, is this Jack? Oh, speaking of, they usually have a ton of Halloween stuff over here too. Ooh, a whole wall. Okay, little itty bitty nicky nacky type of stuff. I love the skeleton yoga. He's always a jam. He's always a vibe. They've got um, Snoopy and the gang. Those are pretty cute. Okay, so this is more fall-ish with the pumpkins and the, what is that called? Corn meal, <laughs> wheat, is that wheat? Oh, I know nothing. Okay, <gasps> oh my gosh, a Frankenstein know me? Oh my gosh, does he have eyeballs? That's the most adorable thing. Oh, a Frankenstein gnome. I never thought I'd see the day. And yet here it is. Oh my gourd. I just sniffed this candle, pumpkin bread. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh, give me all the pumpkin vibes. But also, which way to the beach? You know what I mean? Okay, right up here, a whole aisle of um, candy corn mountain trees. 
I don't know what's happening over here, but those witches are very happy. Does anyone remember that witch movie? It's like up on mountain. It's like a twins, a boy and a girl. I, I'm pretty sure it was a Disney movie. I don't know. Okay, I'll, I'll scan up this aisle so you can kind of see what's happening. I really like that typewriter with the beautiful hands. Does anyone get that reference from Goosebumps? Beautiful hands. <laughs> Over here, we've got some orange. I really like the wooden pumpkins down there. Those are nice and cute. <gasps> Trick or treat tones. Oh, come on, we have to try this out. Here we go, let's turn it on. Well, that didn't work. Hmm, lame. But you know what? I really like that purple vibe. I got a bigger card for my broomstick handle and I just realized this says broom parking, all others will be towed. <laughs> it's all in the details, you know what I mean? Okay, back to the shelf, a haunted spooky house. Meredith, we have found, is in love with spooky season. Uh, look a little witch gnome. <laughs> Ooh, palm readings. I've always wanted, no, wait, I've never wanted to get my palm read, but I've always wanted to get my fortune read. Is that the right term? Like my future to see a psychic, you know? Here's some magic potion down here for all your witchy things. And then that guy back there, he looks fun. He definitely looks like a good time. And so does he, look, no pants. Here's a better look on the brooms over here. So they say a couple of different things. And then on the back wall, bunch of, um, I don't really know what they, I guess, are they all witches? Sometimes we see warlocks. There's a warlock down there. Eat, drink, and be scary. Oh, we have that pumpkin. Ours might be a little bigger. We used to get a live pumpkin and put it outside of our house every year. And we bought a massive one that looks just like that from Home Goods. It was like 15 bucks. We bought it, I don't know, five years ago. And now we put that one out. Oh my gosh, look, peek on this cauldron, the pumpkin cauldron. Anyway, now we put that one out every year. And I feel like it saves us, you know, so much money on buying a pumpkin that's just going to rot and get thrown away. You know, it's like a waste of money kind of. So it's a way to save the money a little bit. Although we don't get to uh, carve it every year. That's fine by me, <laughs> you know? I know some people live for carving pumpkins, but I am not one of those people. Which, please, does this open? Oh, what does this do? Oh, it's just a little thing, okay. Anything that has to do with witches, I'm completely drawn in. Okay, let's browse some ghosts, similar to last year. The witches in that pumpkin says, oh my gosh, check these out. Oh my goodness, cupcakes. Uh, liners with the toppers. The toppers make it. Oh, am I making cupcakes? No, but um, why do I want to buy that? Because it's cute. Okay, those guys look fun. You know what he looks like? He kind of looks like TikTok from Oz, that movie. Such a good movie. That's actually really tall. Oh my gosh, that gnome with the cauldron that says witches brew. Be still my heart. <laughs> oh my gosh, and there's like gems inside. Stop. Okay, behind me looks like they have uh, skeleton ballerinas, which I'm all about. Oh my gosh, they're bopping their head to the music. Or did I just accidentally run into them? <laughs> I don't know, I really like that. This is a fun print. That's new and interesting. That ghost looks a little sad, but you know, that's okay. I have wonky eyes too, so lots of pillows. <gasps> Check that cauldron out. Hold on, she's hanging out all her clothes to dry. Look at this cauldron, 60 to, I have, I'm gonna, oh, 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 it lights up. Does it light up? I'm pressing the button. Anything? Oh my gosh, there's toads. Okay, I had to take it down, obviously. <laughs> I would love to have that, but I don't know where I would put it. All right, you guessed it, more Halloween stuff over here. I see a couple of Day of the Dead things. We at first, but why did I think that said we? Cauldrons that say trick or treat. And these are really trendy right now. The neon signs, more booze. Bunch of fall vibes over here. Pumpkins, harvest stacked books and wreaths. Bunch of fall gnomes. You guys know, I love a good gnome. Oh, apples. Oh, are you the type of person who puts wreaths on your front door? I'm just not there yet. Maybe one day, but today's not the day. And then I have two front doors 
You know what I mean? So it's like, then I have to buy two wreaths. Do you know how much wreaths are? Can be expensive. Oh my gosh, there's even more over here. Fall is the time to buy a wreath, y'all. I just said y'all. <laughs> here are some uh, flower. Oh, I like the sunflowers, actually. You know what, actually, this might be really nice. Bring some color to my living room. I quite enjoy that. Oh, or this, this is really in this pompous grass. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, okay, oh, well, how much is this piece of crap? I don't know. How much is the little one? Oh, the little one's 20, ooh. A whole wall of ceramic pumpkins. Ooh, some of them are real fancy. Actually, all of these are real fancy and they will break in my house, so I'm just gonna keep on walking. Oh, palmistry. That's interesting. Oh, well, nothing's inside. I thought I was gonna learn about how to read someone's palm. All right, home is where you park your broom. Forbidden fruit. Check that Cinderella-style carriage out. Ooh, pumpkin spice and everything. Nice sweater weather. Are you guys pumped? I actually really like this, too. But, like, what the heck am I gonna do with it, you know? Ooh, we have some spooky wreaths over here. See, I'd much rather have a spooky wreath than a... I don't know, one with apples on it. I don't know, the apples look pretty though. Hello, pumpkin. These are all the wooden carvings. Oh my gosh, is that like a, a gnome? <laughs> kind of reminds me of, what's that one doorknob cartoon? Maybe from Fantasia or something. Oh, what's behind it? Okay, fun. There's literally so much to see. It like, I, ugh, I'm being pulled in all different directions. I like the color of that pumpkin. I feel like it might break. I don't know what texture it is. Ceramic is my guess. <laughs> I don't know. That turkey is really calling my name for whatever reason. Could that be a centerpiece for my dining room table? Oh, I think we are hosting Thanksgiving. Is it weird to think about that? <gasps> love this. What is this? Oh my gosh, why do I love this? Also, there are trees here. $80. They could keep it, but. Hold on, I want you to check on this lady's cart behind me because she has the budget. Check it. Oh, her house is gonna look so pretty. Prettier than mine. Look at this glammed out turkey. Okay, a lot more gnomes over here. I think this is a fall aisle. A ton of pumpkins. They're um, different shapes. I quite enjoy that. They have plush pumpkins, ceramic pumpkins, wooden pumpkins. What's up here? Oh, that's cute. And then pumpkins made of flowers. Okay, I'm overwhelmed. Oh gosh, even more over here. I, oh, a porcupine. This is quite lovely as well. Oh my gosh. There's so many options. I just, what's a gal to do? Hand wash? Oh. Mm, my brain is exploding. Oh, holy crap. A whole other aisle of garland and wreaths. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> no big deal, just the woman across the room. Oh, look, hello, kitty, trick or treat, and then Snoop. Well, if you're into Ray Dunn, just wait till I show you. Hold on, does that say poison? Oh, it should say poison, wouldn't that be funny? Wait till I show you the stuff that they have for Thanksgiving, if it's still here, it's really cute. But we'll get there when we get there. Ooh, trick or treats. More booze, you're so corny. Ooh, black and white pasta. The most expensive pasta I've ever had. $4 for one cup, y'all. Not sure where, why I'm saying y'all. <laughs> Been watching too much YouTube, I guess. I put a, sp I put a spell on you. Ooh, this pumpkin platter. That cutting board is really calling my name, but <clears throat> I'm gonna keep on walking. Do I want it? Yes. Do I need it? Also, yes. I really like this one. Thankful. You guys like, you know that I like collecting bowls like that. The scaredy cat is adorable. Okay, over here we have witch feet. What does this hold? Oh, anything you want. Okay, check these out. Oh, drink drink up witches, hocus pocus. Some of these are really funny. Cheers, potion again. I'm waiting for one to say poison. Anyway, this one says dad, dad kula and momster, which I just think is pretty accurate some days. 
Okay, and then we have like Disney, uh, oh, Snoop too. Oh, a fully stocked wall of Halloween stuff. Does anything get you more pumped? What, oh, extra virgin olive oil. Okay, anyway, um, getting sidetracked. What was I gonna show you? One thing at a time. Happy Halloween, which is, nope. They did have a lot of, oh, there it is. <laughs> They still have a lot of these hocus pocus things and the hat comes off. I don't know what you do with that. You just put it to the side, I guess. But there's that. Witches brew, the bowls, they always come out with new prints every season. Um, okay, witches brew down here. Lots of witches hat make magic happen. Wicked witch, pumpkin carver, handsome devil, I can read because Hooked on Phonics worked for me. Oh, these baking cups. Oh, look how fun they are. Gotta love that. I almost bought this the other day and then I didn't and it looks like it's still here. Is that a sign? I don't know. I'm just like, what would I do with it? What does that say? Toxic? Oh, it just says toxic. Oh, boo. I don't know. I don't really like things with a bunch of words on it. I don't know. Or do I? And then they have this boo bowl down here yeah but if you like put stuff on top of it you won't be able to see it you know this i almost got this one the other day but then i was like oh if i put a bunch of crap on top you won't be able to see the cute little prints there but this is pretty sweet if you're into mugs i actually have a lot of mugs and such pumpkin everything okay i'm sweating i can't even believe i almost put a sweater on this morning I'm glad I didn't, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Ooh, check it, football season. It's like now, you guys, it's now, it's starting. Oh my gosh, look at that cow print. Oh, I think this is where all that Thanksgiving stuff was. Oh, it was so cute. Well, you missed out, sorry. But who knows, someone could have picked it up and moved it somewhere else. Um, they always have placemats and napkins and table runners in really cute prints too. Couple runners down there. And then Halloween tablecloths. Ooh, this one's really cute. I know cute is subjective. Oh, that's fun. Look, a mantle scarf. I don't have a mantle and I definitely don't need a scarf. Why do I want it? <laughs> Check this out. Bunch of cookie cutters and ooh spatulas magic spells be wicked wicked bewitched oh my gosh well no don phonics didn't work for me apparently oh my gosh more cupcake liners look it's dracula and frankenstein and it, oh, look at her hair oh i'm about to get my hair done just like that i got a cat bowl recently and that looks very similar to the one that i got and a lot of you were saying like oh i wish i would have got that look her hair too I feel like I bought these in years past. They're always so much fun, right? But then it's like, you just throw it away. So I don't know, pros and cons. But if you're making cupcakes, how could you resist? Oh my word, check it. Look at all of these witches brew. Love that one. I'm not a huge fan of Ray Dunn, but like that's real cute. And then they have this Tupperware. I bought this um, brand before and the lids aren't my favorite, but I mean, they do have the cute factor. Holy cow, they are stacked when it comes to Halloween stuff. Look, even more, oh my goodness, look how cute. Oh, everything is just so cute. A cookie press, dogs, oh, even more. Oh, I really like these. Oh, look, they sell the pumpkin one here. It's normally a better price here, 10 bucks. So elsewhere, probably 13 is my guess. Oh wait, is that Santa Claus? Yeah, not not quite ready. We can we're barely ready for fall, let alone Santa Claus coming in here. Okay, more of these. Oh, I like the turkey ones. Those are sweet. Give you a peek on these toppers too. Do you see it? Or do you see it? Poisons and spells? Wait, does this hang? <gasps> Those are my favorite ones. The ones that the kids can't yank down, you know what I mean? And then witching, witching in the kitchen. Oh, that's some good stuff. All right, well, which ones do I buy? Which ones do I buy? <laughs> oh my goodness, there's more over here. Wait, is it? I'm so confused. Is this like an oven mitt to take stuff out? I wouldn't use it for that. I would just, oh gosh, gnomes. 
I would just use it to wipe my hands off and keep it fresh on my counter. Not my counter. You guys understand, I think. Probably not. But at this point, what more can I do? Oh my word. Wow, just a bunch of hocus pocus, they're oven mitts. I don't have any room in my oven mitt drawer <laughs> or I would totally buy those. Okay, bunch of kitchen towels, hand towels, blackberry pop, get the heck out of here. We're ready for pumpkins, everything. Look at that witch, she's sweet. All right, you see anything? See anything you want? See anything cool? No? Okay. Oh my word, I think they're redoing all the aisles. All the pillows and blankets are on this side. This is normally where the office stuff is. Oh, look how gorgeous. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. pretty. Check out these cute pillows, too. I would have otherwise never seen these. Because I don't normally walk down the pillow aisle. I'm really digging that turkey with his little legs. A gentleman just put these out. Old Salem black hat in. Oh, I like it. Oh, they're so pretty. All right, more pillows for you to oogle over. I don't think we've seen all of these. We've seen a couple of them. Oh, I really like this one where they're like going trick or treating. That one is cute. And then over here, even more pillows, like the colorful spider one. And then of course the witch. <laughs> oh, fortunes told, futures unfold. Even more fall stuff up here. Oh, I can't wait to sniff the dang candles. Somebody get me some coffee beans because <laughs> I am ready for it. Apple and cinnamon. Mm, okay. Traditional. Nothing too exciting. Um, all right. You see all that stuff? Cool. Let's move on. Ooh, ooh. Halloween inspired stuff. And then flamingos at the bottom. Gotta love that. That's Florida living. Um, utensil holder. Is this necessary for $13? Yes. Oh my word, this is the best Halloween costumes for pets. And then Halloween toys for pets. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Are some of them dog, some of them cat? Are they inter interchangeable? Oh, some more cutesy little things. Wait, is this for babies? It might be. Oh my gosh, wait a second. Is this a witch towel? A hooded towel? Oh, that is it. Oh, I really like the pumpkin pie blanket. <laughs> I don't even like pumpkin pie. Oh, baby towels and baby stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a baby for Halloween. What are we gonna be for Halloween? Oh gosh. Oh my goodness, my first Thanksgiving. <sighs> my first Halloween. I can't even, I, mm, uh, okay. It's hard for me to wrap my head around that. We were actually talking about Halloween costumes the other night at the dinner table. And speaking of, oh, these are fun. These are where the fun pillows are. Speaking of Halloween costumes, Home Goods normally has um, some kids Halloween costumes, which I just think are is adorable. If you've got it, haunt it. Oh, I like that. Anyway, I was trying to convince my family to dress up like Hocus Pocus again. Like, you know what I mean? I was like, the baby can be the cat. The baby can be the black flame candle. <laughs> uh, they were not into it, which is disappointing. They have some ring toss games, I guess, and then puzzle pieces, which make a complete puzzle. Ooh, Halloween stuffed animals. Oh yes. Why do kids love stuffed animals so much? Guilty. Oh, I like that Hocus Pocus one. I used to have a ton of stuffed animals too, so I can't blame them. Okay, a random end cap selection of Ray Dunn things, like bowls for dogs and mugs and snow globes. <laughs> so there's that. Even more over here. Oh, okay, so that was the dog one. Now here are the kitty kitty cats. Oh, the kitty kitty cats. Why do I love cats so much? Did you see that scaredy cat like treat bin? All right, so they've, if you're the type of person who decorates your bathroom, now's your time to shine. You're gorgeous. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Oh my word, ceramic Frankenstein, ceramic pumpkin with witch cutouts, some boxes and things. Okay, down the gift bag aisle is the over, oh, look at these harvest crackers. 
Those are so fun, but like, what do you get inside? A bunch of random crap that ends up in the garbage. But it is fun for a minute. <laughs> okay, they have lights. Do you see them? And then the um, witch houses over here are spooky haunted houses. Ooh, the napkins. The napkins are always so much fun. Should I send my kids back to school with like Halloween napkins already? Is that too much? I don't think so. <laughs> I, think, I think it'll be fine. All right, this is really catching my eye. That's really cute, right? I wonder if it opens. It does not. It's just for decor. Ooh, spooky bones. I really like that. The stars align. Fortune foretold. Someone tell me my fortune. Oh, that's pretty fun. That's a fun picture frame. It's different and interesting. Okay, more harvest stuff up here right next to the clearance aisle. I'm about to take a stroll down the clearance aisle. This is the only cool thing in the clearance aisle. It's like a timeout thing. I can dig it. Oh my word, headed to the checkout. Happy fall, y'all. See, it's everywhere. Okay, these wooden signs with the gnomes and the gems. I love the gems. I don't know why, but it makes me happy. I like all the Halloween ones at the bottom too. More pumpkins and gourds. And what else do we see here? Those things, pillows, and more mugs, if you can believe it. Do people buy this many mugs? Like on the regular? I like the blue ones. It's ones I haven't seen before. Ooh, candy corn, spooky seas. I actually hate candy corn. What's a Halloween candy I do like? Reese's. There you go. That's just a candy in general. Oh my gosh, a cat. Oh, and a cauldron. Love that. Oh, look, Annalise. So fun. That scarecrow. We don't see a lot of scarecrows. That's new and interesting and exciting. All right, pillows to the left of me. Ooh, I like that one. I put a spell on you. The skeletons with the pumpkin head. Potions and spells, treats. Namaste. More pillows over here. These are like fun, cutesy, decorative pillows. I don't know. I am not in that season of life. I'm in the season of life where I just pick pillows up off the floor if I put them on the couch. I just did a living room remodel and people are like, oh, get some pillows, get some blank. I'm like, I don't wanna. <laughs> okay, more mugs. Wow, shocking. Also more candles. Really love that green tone though like the tone of this wall it's being very kind oh my gosh i think this was made for me flamingos with witch hats and capes but then they have more kitchen towels if that's not for you they always have so much halloween and seasonal stuff right up front too oh this is an annalise cat a witch cat oh my gosh a dragon too fun stuff up here Okay, the line's moving along. Oh, look, welcome to the web. Oh, look, a spider one too, okay. Hugs and kisses, Halloween wishes. I just like the ones that hang, you know, that the kids can't pull down. I'm really Cashier drawn to those. One, oh, we're moving right along. Check these bags out. Oh, candy bags. Oh yeah, candy bags. Okay, hold up. Even more candy bags. Oh my gosh. Look at this candy bag. Oh, I'm about to buy this as a grocery bag. It has a little pocket inside for the ones that you think are really special and want to eat right away. Six dollars. But also, I really love it. Like, look at that cat dressed up like a who knows what. A bumblebee with pumpkins. Okay, they have a bunch of different prints. I don't know if I can spend $6 on that though. Oh, even more over here. Trick or treat bags. These are like draw drawstring ones. All right, I'm next. Now we're off to Marshall's. I did get the witch's broom and then the kitchen towels that said witching in the kitchen, mixing up potions and spells. <laughs> it doesn't say that. Okay, Marshall's, here we come. Okay, so Marshall's is not exploding like home goods. But, oh my gosh, they have these Hocus Pocus uh, drinking cups. Don't get out much. <laughs> it's Billy. 
Oh, that's really funny. I don't know what's funnier, the fact that I called those drinking cups or what it said. Oh, and then they have a set of Hocus Pocus um, plates. I'm sure some of you who are like totally not into Hocus Pocus is like so over it. Good morning. Okay, more on this table. Obviously the cauldron um, drooling over. Th oh, ooh, that's a nice seal on there. Okay, it stopped. I don't come to Marshall's much. Ooh, look at that. Lazy Susan with the skulls. I can dig it. Okay, some more skulls over here. Skulls, bones, salt and pepper shakers. Oh, cute. That's really cute. Mm, oh, ooh, they have, oh, oh, ooh, ooh. oh, what's over here? Oh, a Chucky doll pen. A ch it is a Chucky doll pen. Uh, it's not a pen at all, it's a pencil. Those are fun. I really like this one, actually. Oh my goodness, and then of course, the witch. A couple of table runners. Okay, interesting. Oh yes, here we go. Some aprons. Yep, that's what we were missing at Home Goods. They did have a couple of aprons, but not like Halloween themed. Mm, okay, why am I out of breath? Oh yeah, I have a whole human being inside of my body. I like the cauldron with the cat, clearly. I like the, uh, well, that's, 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 that about covers it. <laughs> Keep calm and eat candy corn. All right, are wooden signs still in? Don't ask me. I'm just a gal with the camera. I like that succulent, the skeleton, trying to do the, uh, the yoga pose over there. Hey, check out this broom. We had one in our old house, but I think we left it for our renters. A long reach dusting system with pivoting head. Look, you just throw it right over your fan. All right, well, that's enough of that. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Uh, ooh, a table runner. Ooh, oh, wow, fancy schmance over here. These are like velvet. They feel really nice. Here's a whole set for you. A, an apron, two kitchen towels, and oven mitts. Okay, cool. They also have more cups. I feel like we've seen most of these, but of course there's going to be new things we haven't seen. Hey, look, we found it. Poison. We did find it with the skull and crossbones. Why do I want a cup that says poison? I don't know. There might be something wrong with me. <laughs> I like the Dracula guy. He is sweet. Cats always get me. More kitchen towels. More adult stuffed animals up here. And, oh, oh wow, more kitchen towels. Believe it or not. I do believe TJ Maxx and Marshalls has, have more candle options than home goods. Hmm, let's see what they have here. Ooh, a spooky spice. I believe it. Yep, smells exactly like spooky spice. Ooh, pumpkin butter. Oh, DW knows how to do candles. Well, they're lacking on the Halloween stuff, so now I'm wondering if I should buy a couple of these to flank my TV in the living room. Ooh, oh, uh-oh. In the living room, and now I'm like, oh, yeah, I can get some artwork for the kids' rooms. <laughs> they are still fully in, like, back-to-school mode here, which is... Normal, I feel like. Totally fine. Home Goods is like the weird cousin who's just ready to decorate. Found a little bit of bath decor up here. Some football things. Is this a turkey? If it is, I'm in. Hey, thankful. Totally unrelated, but this is on clearance for 60 bucks. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine Wentworth and the kids in that? I wonder if it's what the, what i'm gonna text alex a few things in the beauty section just some uh ghost pumps and pumpkin pumps oh good witch bad witch oh could you imagine <laughs> if you put one for each child of yours i'm here for the booze really even the soap bottle tells you more mugs up here but these are like uh chili mugs oh my gosh makes me want chili uh, okay, they have so many back to school things. My mind is wandering. Oh my words, my worst nightmare. Candy corn? I don't know, maybe I don't eat them enough to know if it smells, oh, does it smell like ghost stories? I don't know what ghost stories smell like either. <sighs> we made it to the Max. Cause we're Maxinistas. Turns out, Home Goods 
is exploding. This two-piece set though, this girl loves Halloween and then the shorts, love that. Or you can get a set of shorts, like Halloween style. So that's really cute. Okay, so random, I've never seen these before. You know those um, tables, they have fitted table covers for them. Obviously that's not the right season, but I'm sure they come in all kinds of styles. Browsing down the food aisle, check it out. The first sighting, candy corn and pumpkins. Is this exciting for you? Sweet and spicy snack mix. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry I would probably eat a candy corn, but I don't want to. Um, more kitchen towels and whatever these are called, oven mitts. Welcome to our web. Oh, that one's fun and funky. The dogs. Ooh, okay, hold on, there's more. A lot of table runners over here too. This is more autumn style. And then the Halloween ones look like they're over here. Okay. Cute, 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 cute. I found some dried mango slices, slightly more healthy, but they have some beautiful sunflower decor for fall. Browsing down the clearance aisle, cause you know how I do. And check it, someone just shoved this here. I don't know if you can read it. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. Pecan Jack up there, pretty sweet. And then some gnomes, a stack of books. Okay, Nightmare Before Christmas. Here's the debate. Oh, are these um, bathroom towels or hand towels? I like them. Is that a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie? I've never been able to understand it. Actually, not sure if I've ever watched the whole thing. The whole thing. <laughs> tropical sunset. That does smell like a tropical sunset. I really like that hand soap dispenser. We have more mugs. Well, not mugs. What are those called? Tumblers? They say a whole bunch of different things. Um, there's a sign up there, a bunch of gnomes. Oh, the thankful sign, that's really sweet. Oh, teak wood, do you guys like those types of diffusers? Okay, mm more down here, more pumpkins. And then what is that, a cat house? Oh my word, they really like Jack here. I like that pumpkin witch. And then check this velvet skull out. I like that. Happy Halloween. Oh my word, look at the book of spells. Okay, this reminds me of something they sold at Target before. Push to ring, animated eyeball doorbell. But this is fake, right? Like. <laughs> like you can't actually hook that up to your doorbell so you hear it inside. Because honestly, that's what I would need. Okay, I found a whole wall, actually two, uh, okay, so lots of Halloween stuff. <laughs> That's what we came for, am I right? So, Ouija board pillows, boo pillows, new pillows, really, unless I just glazed over them at Home Goods. I like that pink ghost with the hair bow. She's adorable. Happy Halloween. We've got more candles here. Spider? Spider cider. The potion is nice. Oh, look at these disposable cups. But they say witch's brew on them. Oh, and then back here it says drink up. Okay, someone's shopping over there, so let's explore this section. Just a moment. Okay. All right, it's go time. We have this bottle right here, which is really calling my name with the skull up top and the hands around it. Pumpkins, a witch lives here with her little monsters. Spider bowl, look at this spider bowl. Boo, more mugs, ugh, sick of looking at mugs. That skeleton one's pretty cool. They have some DW candles, maple pancakes, a basic witch, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Grateful, thankful, blessed pillows. Ooh, white pumpkin. What does that even smell like? Look at that devil up there. Oh my goodness, and Yoda. My broomstick runs on coffee. What is that? Like, what do you put on there? I don't know. All right, what does this say? Oh, fortune. Get your fortune told. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, Mickey and Minnie. More candles, more pillows. Ooh, I like this tray. Oh, it's a lazy Susie. Look at that tray, that's fun. Okay, guess that was 
$30. Okay, I don't want to do that again. This witch is, oh, see, that's how things break. You don't even know. Like, why? What? A, why? It's pretty cool, though. Looks good. Feels good. Moving on. Oh, cute. Oh, I thought that had skeletons on it. It doesn't. Uh, more pillows. Oh, I like the witch ones where their backs are turned. All right, cutesy. Oh my goodness, Meredith just called me and she does this thing where if you like tell her she's on a recording or something, taking a video, she pretends she's a mouse and says, squeak, squeak. <laughs> like, I don't know where she picked it up from, but it's really cute. Okay, ma the magic potion cauldrons. Oop, I'll come this way. These are adorable. I really like that. Not sure where I would put it. Okay, moving our way up. I think I see something, wait, dead, but caffeinated. <laughs> oh man, that's really funny and creative. Pumpkins, a ghost hat. Oh, look at that, more Annalise. Um, this is Florida Living. Like how funny is this? Oh my goodness, it's an Annalise thing. That's really funny, right? With the cauldron. And then more Jack stuff up there. TJ Maxx is really into Jack. More kitchen towels, different prints. Feeling funky. I like the football one, actually. Ooh, three of them. Hmm. Oh, look, little stirs. I don't know what makes these spooky, but they're like hot chocolate spoons. Yeah, that's fun. They got some fudge, too. Okay, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed shopping around with me. If you did, subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!